Good morning YouTube, this is with Scott with InsideTheCurve.com, back with another uh, video. So I'm hoping to get out in the shop and get more CNC uh, videos uploaded to YouTube. Uh, so one thing that has changed for my shop operations is I've kind of uh, ditched Fusion 360. Uh, it could be shocking to some, but uh, I normally run, let me give you a little backstory. on I, I do run Fusion 360 on a Mac, uh, just because it's one of the better computers we have in the house right now. Uh, ran into a lot of problems with uh, crashing and then some features aren't working after an update uh, and just generally sluggish and slow it could be the Mac but it's a it's a fairly newer Mac I think it's a 2018 model it's one of the medium packages of Mac or whatever they call it but uh, just a lot of frustration every time I get on and try to make a project uh, crashing issues and, and sluggishness so I have had Aspire on uh, my laptop uh, which is an older laptop, and it, it runs just fine. The, the course, there is a cost associated with that. It's about a $2,000 program, um, but your money can be made back very quickly uh, with this software if you do the right things and market your products uh, properly. So uh, I am switching to that. Uh, so basically, like I said, yeah, a few things that I have problems with is I think this uh, Fusion crashing, you know, it's, it is a cloud-based program. Uh, you, I did try turning the work offline and it did help a little bit, but still some of those features just went in there after uh, certain updates that I've used before. Uh, there's multiple crashes through uh, trying to make a project. Uh, and I mean, I've, I've, and uh, of course, the uh, learning curve of Fusion 360, if you don't know, it, it is quite steep. Uh, I did build my son's crib and it's kind of like the first project and I, it probably took me, I don't know, 15 hours, maybe 20 hours to make it, but now I could probably do it in hour and a half but yeah it just it is a steep learning curve but it's definitely worth it I, I do love fusion it's just a lot of frustration of wasting more time of trying to get it load and get everything to save and waiting for this to the render and everything uh, I just had to put it to the side so by uh, going forward I'm going to be using uh, Aspire or or you can be using VCar if you're following along what I'll be making here in the coming months uh, but yeah there's nothing wrong with VCarve uh, so far as like assembly projects, like if we're going to make a chair or something, this uh, Aspire B Carve is not the best choice for it. Uh, I mean, as far as cutting in the cam side, of course, but like assembly work, uh, I'm going to be using Rhino. Uh, that is another paid service. I think it's uh, about eight hundred dollars or so. Uh, but I'll be utilizing uh, the program for, at work that I use because that's what I mainly use at work is a Rhino, which is a very powerful program and modeling uh, more of an assembly work in that. And then transferring into Aspire and uh, running my tool pass for the cam. Uh, but yeah, there is a great, there is a cost associated with the Vetric software, but the training is great. Uh, the great forums out there, there's a great Facebook group uh, that has a lot of good information. You post, post a question up there if you run into a problem, and it gets answered quite quickly. Uh, and of course, VCarb and Aspire is a uh, Definitely more of a, uh, for the artistic side, as an element to your projects that you couldn't really, you could achieve in Fusion, but it was definitely a lot more clunky to get it done. So, I just kind of wanted to update everybody on the YouTube channel. That's kind of where I'm going to be going. Uh, but yeah, these next uh, few months, I'm really going to be hammering on the videos again, like I was there for a while with the Fusion 360 for woodworking videos. But uh, that's kind of the route I'm taking. Uh, I am putting together a CNC course. So if you could, it'd be greatly appreciated down in the comments to put uh, things you struggle or are struggling with in your CNC adventures either. Uh, and it can be even woodworking related, but I am putting a course together of uh, a uh, CNC. I do have a lot of, let me get a little background. I do work in aerospace. Uh, right now, currently I've upgraded to a, uh, or promoted I should say, to a production lead uh, in that environment. But I did run CNC routers uh, quite exclusively in lasers. Uh, quite uh, different aerospace components. Uh, so I do have a lot of experience with CNC routers, but the, you know, of course at home I just have a little hobby CNC machine like most of us do that are watching this video. So if you have any questions uh, or things you want to see in the CNC course, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments and we'll be sure to get those put in there. So until next time, be well.